you did this with taters and cam already i did are are you gonna like tell me who they chose or like what if i choose the same as nope. them? <laughs> not gonna tell you if you had sorcerer and claire and no doom in the abyss nexus which one would you pull which one would you pull <laughs> um welcome to a completely new style video where i take eight people and put them in the driver's seat of my account hitting them with this hypothetical question assuming i have a tier five class catalyst of all six class types which one of my six star champions would they take to rank three next and why you can see the eight participants names down at the bottom of the screen and they each have one box there to select one and only one champion they have to come to a decision on one champion by the end of this video and I also let them know that I have a Mutant and Mystic Six Star Awakening gem. Now, what makes this really interesting is that this was not one conversation where people had to uh, either come to the same conclusion or agree, disagree, all that stuff. No, 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 no. These were separate conversations that I had with each of the eight participants. They could have picked the same champion. They could have picked different champions. So what do you guys think? Do you think they came to the same conclusion without even knowing it? Or do you think they unknowingly contradicted the hell out of one another over the three hours that i talked to them hey i edited this video down as much as i possibly could as jammed packed with information most of these guys are youtubers or in my alliance or both the one exception is kabam john who is the balance designer at kabam who even has a little bit of that inside data of course being the balance designer he knows which champions wins fights and which ones don't and if you don't know their voices their names will pop out of that selection box when they're talking Oh yeah, and there's one last thing. This was recorded one week prior to me finishing The Abyss. Which means I told them that if Doom is in the Mystic Nexus, I'm taking Doom. However, hypothetically, what if Doom doesn't show up? Like he didn't. I let them pick whatever champion they wanted, whatever Mystic champion they wanted in place of Doom, and guess what debate came up pretty frequently? Sorcerer Supreme, or Claire, and people had to decide. Without further ado, let's get into it. So science, you got Torch, who I think is one of the two best rank three science characters. I, same as me. So I'm saving now for Mortal Abomination. So I would suggest you do the same. I just took up Spider Gwen and she's an absolute beast, but I have my eyes. Um, and I know that a lot of people are gonna disagree with this, but I have my eyes on that Abomination and that Wasp dude. Uh, so, like, okay. Wasp is a champion who I think is unbelievably underrated. And A-Bomb, dude, with the Red Guardian synergy is absolutely bonkers. My eyes are drawn to Spider-Gwen and Red Guardian. And then Red Guardian obviously directs me to OG Abomination. If you have a Red Guardian, I think A-Bomb, like, OG A-Bomb is absolutely insane boss killer because, like, everybody puts thing on the boss, like, all the time. Uh... He's pretty insane. I don't know if you have room to run that team on your path, uh, but that's always a great option. Uh, I love seeing that. Like he just like stacks like 40 poisons on thing and thing just like melts off the face of the earth. Personally though, on the topic of thing, I have a rank three like SIG 140 thing. Running him with suicides, great time. He actually has pretty good prestige too. That's one of the other reasons I picked him is uh, I was able to dump a bunch of six stones into him. Now, did you use a gem on yours or did you have a natural dupe? I think I natural duped him. I don't think I used a gem on him. I think I naturally duped him on Black Friday. And that's one of the reasons why I dumped so many six stones in him, but I wanted to rank through him anyways. You know, of course I really like Thing and Cap America, but with being free to play and the limited ability of six stones, I kind of take them off the table. Just as a heads up, after I finish the Abyss and pop open all the available six stone crystals that I have, I'll have roughly 46 stones of each class type. 40 of each? Okay. Yeah. Well, those guys need 200, so they're pretty much worthless for you uh, in the current meta of six star six stones. Uh, Red Hulk, uh, does your BG have a 6'3 uh, Hulk? I'm not sure. I okay. actually don't know. He's really, I mean, he's really good and doesn't need to be awakened for the nodes you use him for, so I'm going to. Yeah. I'm gonna take a note here for good old Rolk. Okay. Um, Abomination with the synergy, it can do some things, but I, you know, Void and other champs can do it better. Uh, other than that, I think there's any defensive potential in uh, A Bomb, or I think it's gonna no. get rolled too easily. Nah, I just get beat up, man. I mean, it's a 
it's a quake fight or it's an omega fight or yeah. it's a ghost fight it just it yeah really, that's true <laughs> it doesn't matter <laughs> <laughs> don't know much about red guardian but i've seen people get smashed in the face you trying to use them so <laughs> write that one off too i love captain america i think he's awesome i know that uh, you're going to be at probably a, a disadvantage with Sig Stones, and it's pretty important for him, obviously, but um, yeah. I feel like even Sig 60, Sig, Sig 80, it scales pretty well for him, I think. So um, he would be an awesome champ. And then Thing, kind of the same thing, although Thing is going to be a lot more Sig dependent. Thing is awesome, but he needs the dupe. Red Hulk is awesome, but he needs the dupe. Cap is awesome, but he needs the dupe. Yeah. Abomination is not awesome. Uh... Yeah, not much here. I mean, he needs the dupe, though, so... <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Red Guardian has pretty good prestige. Yeah, he's a uh, fourth, but uh, also he needs the dupe. So, uh, no no standouts here, then? Or would you say... What thick is your Invisible Woman? 20 or 40? 20. 20. Uh, she's almost 11k. She's, like, basically right at your average. She's also not particularly good. But I could see... I, she'd, I mean, she'd be the only one I would even consider. Science is my favorite class to rank because I have, like, the best characters, but I have the worst ones ranked. Okay, all right. Uh, science really doesn't stand out much. All right, let's flip I'm it not, over then. Yeah, science doesn't really stand out much to me right now. I would go probably something for defense. Maybe that Quark. Okay. He's only Sig 20. That's fine. He's a protect defender. Is your Korg 20 or 40? He really doesn't need a high Sig for defense, but at 20, you're probably not going to want to put Sig stones into him. I think when it comes to defensive rank ups, with T5CC coming as fast as it is right now, uh, that's, that's not really a, a big consideration. I think when it comes to what, what stuff is going to be rare and stay rare for a long time, we have the six stones, and we definitely is gonna. We are definitely gonna be facing like a awakening gem, uh, you know, rarity for a very long time. Oh boy, you got the big boy. So I'll R8 tell you, R2. that's pretty cool. I'll tell you right now, if if Kingpin's um, low sig level prestige, once Aunt May gets updated, right. Uh, if his low level low sig level prestige is good, then he'll he's just automatically gonna go to rank three. So don't even worry yeah. about Kingpin. Okay. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Um, I I wouldn't do anything with Aegon. Yeah, I mean, this is just kind of a rough class, as as everybody's kind of aware. Okay. Yeah, this skill class sucks. If you don't really, if you don't have Nick, yeah. you really don't have anything. Phew, that's a lot of hot garbage right there, buddy. <laughs> I mean, Aegon yeah. when they release Abyss two, uh, Kingpin for I think Kingpin would be really cool. Uh, just as just as a cool rank up, since the skill class just kind of sucks outside of. Like literally Nick Fury, maybe Elsa. I don't want to step on too many people's toes and Black Widow, Deadly Origin. Um, but I don't see those in your account, and you're gonna always get more T5C. You know, you know how it goes. Yep. So uh, I would I would go with uh, yeah. I'm gonna write down Kingpin and Aegon. Aegon's gonna be he'll be cool for for future content, and you know if you can get him up Sig, probably like man 80 to 100. He, if it's long form, he'll be just fine. I think Aegon has really bad diminishing returns, especially if you have a five star. I've seen a lot of people with rank three, Sig 200, six stars. I'm like, that's cool. As soon as you finish Abyss, what are you doing with this character? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's it's almost worse having a rank three, six star after you deal with Abyss because it takes more fights to ramp up his combo. I think he's fine, and he's he might save you consumables going through that content, but... Right now, without any information on content like that coming out anytime soon, I wouldn't personally do it. And there's no reason that if we release content like that later, you wouldn't be able to do it later. So I think he's an incredibly strong champion, but not really one you need to rush into rank 3 -ing. I think yeah. especially since you're a suicide user, Kingpin is really, really good now. Um, fresh rework. His prestige is much better than before, but uh, he's super usable. <laughs> that Aegon is hilarious. Aegon won't serve a purpose until there is that next step of content and we don't know when that's going to be we don't know if that's going to be in two years and three years next year who knows kingpin he's still new so i would wait maybe like a month or so maybe two months to see where people are using kingpin how people are using kingpin if there's a specific place in alliance where where he shines 
if there's some kind of content, you know, if there's X7 or X6 content where he's really effective, I would wait to see how the general community interprets Kingpin before I would consider taking him to rank three because, oh, he just got buffed. That means he's great. I mean, just because a ch character is buffed doesn't mean they're actually good. I mean, Kingpin at SIG 80 is almost 12k prestige. You think it's worth pumping six stones into Kingpin? Well, do you have Thor? You do have Thor. I do have Thor, Thor. but he's unawakened. I would, uh, I would awaken him. Pull him. This is what you should do. Pull him with one of your crystals from Abyss and go with him. That's what I would do. Okay. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind as I'm opening the crystals. <laughs> Other than that, yeah. I mean, you need some prestige. You can't be, like, sub 11k forever. Oh, no, dude. Trust me. I, I, I've been wanting to pull... The dupe on Thor Rag. If I if I did it, he would go to rank three immediately. Yeah. So, but I'm, would you I'm give him a generic awakening gem? Uh no, that's lunacy. Okay, not even for desperation prestige play. Not him. I mean, Surfer or Sunspot. Yeah, but not him. He's way away from the top three. There's like the three big ones, and then yeah, the rest are kind of clustered together. Like the gap between four and like. 30 is probably less than 4 and 3. Are you going to spend all your units on calves when you finish Abyss? No. I see. <laughs> I mean, how many 6 stars do you think I would get? You're, you're, you're a math guy. Uh, let's see. If you opened your Thronebreaker, right? So... <laughs> yeah. You'd have 20... Let's say you have 27,000 units. Assume I have 30k, because I also have oh, battle K. chips. Okay. And after... You know, I'm going to spend some units to get through the Abyss, but let's just say 30k. So you'd get roughly two six stars. Roughly two six stars, okay. Yeah. If they told you that both of them were Silver Surfer, would you do it? Uh, Probably. Yeah, that's the correct answer. Let's say I did pull some other skill. Like, is there any anyone else in the skill class that like really stands out that I don't have? I mean, Nick Fury is an obvious one, especially because um, other characters that work so well with Nick Fury, although having him at a six star versus a five star isn't a massive difference. He does more damage, but that doesn't really matter for a character that already does insane damage. It's just, he's a better defender is the way I see him as a six star. I have a, a, a rank three six star that I use often, um, but he's really doesn't do too much more than my five star. Characters that have lower damage are generally better for rank three six stars because it's like, Corvus and Ghost are great to have as rank 3 6 stars, but all you're getting is more damage for a character that already does more than enough. So having somebody that has a bit less damage, but a lot of utility, having that extra damage of a rank 3 is great. Falcon, I think, is one of those characters as well, where that that utility he brings is so strong. Um, if you need a matchup where his damage is lacking because they don't evade, but you really want that utility, having a rank 3 is going to be an excellent uh, addition. Other than the champions you already have in your roster, Nick, Falcon, and Mole Man, I would consider as other rank three options. Nick being the only one I would give a gem to. Falcon yeah. would be good too. He's he doesn't need a high sig, and his prestige is high. Yeah, but uh, you you don't have him. Mm, no Falcon, eh? No Falcon. Nope. You got that A going, but if it was me, I wouldn't rank him. I would have just kept using the five star as well. I think I would just chill on skill unless you like dupe thor maybe get some prestige <laughs> yeah, or Korg dude, yeah. For defense the one that jumps out to me is Korg because Korg in the right setup is very underrated if you pair him with mojo and gladiator hulk however i can't uh see myself um picking Korg overall there to be that uh in that number one spot towards the end of course there's also Aegon, but right now when you have one uh, path left of Abyss, that would be an absolute waste. These are the mutant champs I got. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see. I see. There's some good options in there. Yeah. Wow. Your mutant class is looking really good. Yeah. Ooh, baby. Oh, you got some decent mutants. I like Storm. But she's Storm also Pyramid X? Yeah. She's just cool. Rank worthy cool or just cool cool? It's her prestige. Yeah, her prestige is decent, but she'd, she'd have to be duped. I do have a Mutant Awakening gem. That's true. Go back to who you have. Do you have a Red Magneto? Oh, you do. I do. Man, Red Mags. Hands down in that class. Don't even need to awaken him. Would you, considering I have a Mutant Awakening gem, or would you save that for someone else? Well, I feel like his... Okay, he gets the, the secondary damage right off of his heavies, but... 
we all know that his sp3 is like what it's all about right and yeah. they're dead with that anyway and his sig ability also like it 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 limits the amount of damage you take from everything outside of a special three. Well, you know, we should be good enough at this game now where we're not getting hit enough times to kill us wherever you use him, right? So yeah, I've, I mean, I should, and uh, <sighs> what actually happens, you know, sometimes they're different. You know, out of all the fights we assigned over the past two seasons to Magneto, I don't believe we have a single death. Mine's only Sig 20, and uh, yeah, he's he's a monster, man. Magneto is, is super good. I know that you've got him at rank 5, and he's crazy OP at rank 5 uh, anyway. Um, interesting. Okay. All right. I think that he's kind of the standout from the champs that you have right now. Okay. Uh, I don't think that I would take any of the others to rank 3. The two that really stick out to me is Magneto and that Gambit. Okay, Magneto and Gambit, okay. Mm -hmm. Magneto, just because I think he's the best mutant. I gave him an Awakening Gem, took him to rank three, love him. But Gambit, for you, might be good because at SIG 20, I think he has like the highest prestige in the game. It's pretty up there, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that could be good. And he's a really good horseman. I think Gambit might be my next rank three, so... Really? Okay. Do you have a five-star apocalypse? Uh, I do not. No five. Okay. So no six. horseman capability is limited. Limited, but I mean, you know, I could pop open dual class crystals and maybe I'll mm -hmm. pull them. Okay. And you have a mutant awakening gem as well, so. I do. Okay. I'm I'm leaning towards the the mutant class. Why don't we come come back to it later? Man, mutant's tough. Yeah. I uh, have more mutants than any other class type. Still missing some <laughs> of the uh, some of the very important ones, but yeah, yeah, I'm on that That's APOC much. grind. Yeah, he's a he's a good character. Uh, I've heard that. Yeah, <laughs> so the legend goes. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, you already have a 565 red mags, right? I do 6200. Yeah, I think. He's another one of those characters where it's like, how much difference do you really get out of having a rank three instead of 565? It's like, yeah, dude, I've one hit people at 25 prowess instead of 30. It's like, uh, yeah. cool. They'll, um, they'll crumple on the first part of the animation instead of the second. <laughs> yeah, it's like, instead of slamming into the ground and dying, you do it when you form the ball. I'm going to be a little biased here. I'm the proud owner of a rank three Colossus uh -huh. and... I'm not upset about it at all, even with the 565 Awakened and my rank 3 being unawakened. I I still value Colossus as a top 3 mutant in the game. Couple in the fact that you have a rank 3 Omega Red and the synergy between those two is really effective for both of them. More so on Colossus's side, but Omega gets a decent benefit as well. Having Omega at that high level already, it would make sense to have a high level Colossus, but I, I understand that mutant catalyst definitely the most valuable catalyst in the current meta. So I would understand just sticking with a 565 Colossus, but again, like I said, my personal bias. He is my favorite mutant in the game. He's not the best, but he is my personal favorite. But there are other champs in the mutant class. I would probably rank over Colossus, and one of them you have sitting right next to him is Magneto. Yeah, Red Mags, hands down. I know okay. you like Colossus. I know he's a beast champ. I'm, I've never really found any use for him. I have him as a rank four or five star, and I've never brought him into, in, into any in-game content. Really? Today. Okay, nope. surprising here, okay. Yeah, Magneto is possibly the front runner right now, man. Um, but also at the same time, my Magneto is ranked two and I've never had an issue. So I'm just not sure. I'm not sure, man. I know a lot of people love Colossus, but I would not be awakening and ranking Colossus, I don't think, personally. I think that if I were to rank up Magneto, I don't think I'd put the gem into him. Honestly, going through these, I really like white mags. Uh, especially if you're playing high tier war. If you're playing high tier war, that pre fight is so good. And he's a. Uh, I, I actually just recently did a deep dive on his data again because we do a, a review of characters after three months of their release. He's so easy to play and he's so consistent that he has really good numbers. And in terms of win rate and stuff like that, he's actually better than Red Magneto because he's so consistent. Uh, you don't have to do any fancy gameplay. All you got to do is just. Hit the guy a bunch and throw a special. Hit the guy a bunch and throw a special. And he's got really good damage. Uh, he's got some nice synergies for your team. And that pre-fight is really good. Are people 
uh, really playing White Mags much or just bringing him for, for synergy? Because I imagine so he I also don't... has quite a few like less fights than Red Mags. Yeah, well, he's definitely got less fights than Red Mags. Uh, and you can definitely see uh, people ranking, up, ranking him up and bringing him into war, but never using him. They just use him for the pre-fight. But yeah. even when people do use him, his numbers are pretty good. He's actually on the upper side of damage. Uh, he's on the upper side of win rates. He doesn't take a lot of damage. He's super suicide friendly. Um, like you can just rock the special three with a bunch of prowess and you're going to one hit people. Mm. He's overall, I think he's really good. Uh, I think he's just kind of slept on because red mags was so crazy. White mags is a lot more rounded and that pre-fight is invaluable. Nobody else can do that in the game. Yeah. I mean, the pre-fight's huge. We, we've been known to bring like two, three white mags in a single battle group to war. Yeah. At time. He's great. So. If after Abyss your goal is to go the prestige route, I would say Gambit is definitely contend contender there. Yeah, I mean he has like top two prestige at low six, so uh, Right, but would you um, feed a generic into Gambit? No, I would feed a mutant into Gambit. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Over big uh... investment, but you know. I mean after you're done with Abyss, I'm not sure if you're gonna have any content left to do, so uh you know gotta gotta do what you can to to get that medium term short term gain as well right cable bishop nightcrawler they all suck i don't know if you could use like a awakening gem on gambit wow he's 12.5 at sig 40 and you already have omega for you actually that wouldn't be that unreasonable you think it's better to play the long game or do you think forget the long game just how long do you gambit? have I, I mean, when I say long game, I mean like rank four, six star champs. Like, oh, is it going to hold up when we go to rank four? Is that going to screw me over? Is that going to make things worse? So far away, it's hard to it's hard to say. But his, so you could probably get him. Like, even if you can get him to six forty or forty five, but you, but you're not going to want to use six stones on a mutant besides Omega, are you? I, I mean, I I would use six stones for prestige as long as it's a smart prestige play, like. So, I mean, you were talking about the big three, right? Right. And, like, sunspots in that. And then yeah. also, I think I think maybe when we go to the next ranks, like, I think Namor overtakes sunspot. Maybe. I'm, I don't know how that works. I've heard people say that. Like, right right now, I'm, I'm not feeding six stones into Omega Red for the potential prestige play. You don't have that. any right now, do you? Or you might have, like, what, 15, 20? After the Abyss, I'll have, like, 250 unopened crystals. So. Dude, Gambit's, Gambit's like low sig prestige was like made for you. I would seriously consider that. Next class or any other thoughts before we move on? Yeah, I'm ready for the next class. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, I think I'm ready for the next class. <laughs> <laughs> Good God. So Captain Marvel is, could be an option. You have the five star rank, right? Uh, no, I don't even have a five-star Cap Marvel. Oh, good God. Yeah, I don't know about Captain Marvel, though. I think when it comes to, you know, her viability in, in endgame content and stuff like that, she's kind of falling off a bit. That yeah, Groot. Think he's about to get buffed? <laughs> Hopefully. The Cull dupe is nice, but you have, you have two Cosmic Callus, right? I do, yeah. Okay. Probably close to a third as well, because I'm like two and a half or something right now. Yeah. I, that Captain Marvel's looking good. I mean, you you pulled it for me back in the day, and I, I gave her my generic Awakening Gem from Abyss. Would you do it again is the question. Mm, not in today's day and age. A year ago when I did it, I think it was worth it because I didn't really have anyone else, and I needed prestige, and I wanted to rank three. Yeah. But now, no, I don't think I would. How frequently do you use Cat Marvel? Do you ever bring her to war or anything like that? Yeah, I've, I've used her in war a few times. She's pretty good for, for path nine. Uh, AQ two sometimes. Can't stop, won't stop. I feel like, honestly, out of these options, it would be Cole just because Captain Marvel isn't awakened. And, like, I've got her at rank three, and Lags has her at rank three. And, like, we she's she's so good, but we really, we really never use her for anything. Yeah, you know, um, I don't see too many people play their Cat Marvels, which... When I yeah. pulled her, I was like, oh, pff, yeah, I'm definitely taking her rank yeah, three. Yeah, right, for sure. But uh, the more I think about it, I don't see too many people actually play Cat Marvel these days. Yeah, I'm just not sure she's worth the investment currently. Uh, there might be future content that kind of is like, oh, yeah, duh. If Cat Marvel's awakened, obviously, I mean, you're going to have the generic. Um, 
she's definitely more worth it than your awakened Cole. Cole's fun, but every time I try to use him, man, he's he's a potion sucker. He's just very expensive to build up. Now, once he is built up, he's a absolute monster, probably the highest DPS in the game. But it's it seems super impractical for uh, like 7.1 health pools, probably even some six x six stuff. Yeah. Uh, just getting him down, getting those first few charges is really rough. Um, in war, it, it, it's such a fine line, and his block proficiency is just not very good. So sustainability is really poor. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, if you can get him ramped, great. If, if you make it through a few fights, you're going to be burning potions to keep him sustainable. Um, he is fun on like buffed up and AQ, but you know, it's just it's a lion's quest. So uh, Captain Marvel definitely your your number one option in that class. I would say Captain Marvel here with uh, the current landscape of the game. Who knows if it changes in the future, but currently I would say Captain Marvel, especially if you have a, if you have an Ink Fury, a five or six star, that character just goes absolutely in crazy. I also think she's worth a generic, uh, maybe an unpopular opinion, but that SIG ability is amazing, especially like running can't stop, won't stop with a rank three Captain Marvel SIG'd up. I think I've, I've got mine at SIG 200 now and her prestige is pretty good. Um, it is so easy to take fights because you go unstoppable and you're indestructible and you could just like, it's like you're playing arena. You just like tap the right side of the screen and you win. It's uh, pretty hilarious. Uh, having unstoppable and indestructible on a character that has absolutely bonkers damage and unblockable specials is pretty insane. There's definitely other cosmics that will out damage her, but I think the safety she has and the interaction she has with stuff like energy damage, she's really, really strong. Probably my favorite character. Out of what you've got here, easily the pick that I would do. Cull can be nice, but I, there's no reason I would ever pick Cull over Captain Marvel, especially considering I'm pretty sure Captain Marvel has like much better prestige and her SIG is actually like pretty worth dumping stuff stones into you do have a group he could get buffed he could your call is what sig 40 i believe so yep no, you, sig 40. you pulled him a few times 11 370 i mean that's over like 1100 below gambit it like 12.5 gets you like a thousand away from respectability 11.4 only gets you 2000 away any value in just saying like screw prestige go for like defender rank ups or, or, or something like that to do something else or you say prestige more important typically the good defenders are like the new ones because the old ones people already have ranked up yeah but they can get swapped out for new ones and uh that's true and then you can take that spot i mean you just ranked up modok right that's true i did we didn't have a modok i mean your nihilus is unduped your nova is unduped i don't know if they need the dupe for defense they also both kind of suck you definitely have a nova in your battle group because steve's in your battle group i have a rank three captain marvel that I awakened with a Cosmic Gem, and I love her. She's great. But Corvus would by far be the number one pick here. Silver Surfer would be my number two if I was in your situation because of his prestige. I would actually consider swapping Silver Surfer and Corvus now that I think about it, just because his prestige is so high. The only other character in this class specifically that I would consider for rank three is Cosmic Ghost Rider. He, you know, he hits like a freight train. The other Cosmics would have more of an impact for you specifically than ranking up a Cosmic Ghost Rider. He'd be perfectly fine at rank two for the time being for your account specifically. If I were to rank them, it would probably go Surfer, Corvus, Marvel, a writer. All right, let's move on to the uh, the tech class here. Nope, you already got Warlock. <laughs> <laughs> Just a nope. Yeah, no. Would I you? Do you still love Sentinel? Uh yeah, but I mean, not as much as I love Warlock. So, kind of only need one robot, you know? Yeah, exactly. I'd, I'd say just wait for for a ghost. Would you give Warlock the generic? Um, I would think about it. But what if it was a tech? Would you just like automatically do it if it was tech? Yeah, yeah, if it was tech, absolutely. Ugh. <laughs> I was waiting for something like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's about how it is with tech. I mean, at least you have warlock, right? So he's he's yeah. super cool, dude. Number one, mm -hmm. ghost uh, to me is the best uh, in the tech class, hands down. And then I, I don't see guillotine. If if you had her, you know, ghost and guillotine for sure i know some people like punisher 29 since the rework but mm, practicality where you really want to use them i'm not a big fan of hulkbuster is cool but you're missing the champs you'd want to rank question warlock is really good would you give him a generic or 
Would you give him a, a, a tech even if I had a tech? Yes. Yeah. I was holding on to a tech for a while. Like it was one of my first class gems outside of uh, uh, Cosmic that I gave to Cap Marvel. And if I, I didn't have Ghost, I didn't have Gilly 299, and I didn't have Warlock. And whichever one I pulled first, they were getting the gem and they were getting the stones. So was that a yes to both tech and generic or just yes to tech? Probably just yes to tech since it's not as necessary and he's not a top like prestige champ. Here's the thing, if Punisher 2099 was duped, I feel like he's an incredibly powerful champion, man, if you can pair him up with Captain America Infinity War, or I, I believe that's the synergy, um, but he has a synergy with somebody, I think it's Cap, where within the first like 10 seconds, man, uh, you're, you're basically hitting them and doing and giving them absolutely no power. So that guy could be incredibly useful, very underrated right now. Okay. Uh, Hulkbuster's fun, Sentinel's cool, but really it's be duped, and I wouldn't give him a generic. Warlock, I would consider a tech gem into for prestige but i don't think i would give him um a generic gem i know you like sentinel uh i think he's pretty good but i think he's just kind of outclassed at this point That's warlock cool. is he's so good um yeah. i actually think he's worth a generic and if you don't rank up a different character to rank three that needs it i would use it on him and dump my six stones into him he's got good prestige um i assume you probably use him in war i use mine in war every war i think punisher 2099 has some really unique utility in his strange power control and his damage I, I can see he's one of those characters where his damage is okay but at a rank three he would just destroy fights yeah he'd be my pick here i mean you already have a rank four red skull so you know you don't need to get a rank three here you're chilling on that so yeah honestly. if you didn't already have the five star maybe i ranked my hulkbuster recently he was getting a good amount of kills i timed out to hulkbuster once <laughs> <laughs> who did you use thing Oh, on Rage? Yeah. You timed out in five minutes? I timed out, yeah. How and lame like, did I even, you feel? I, I like that the end of it, I even pushed him to like a special three and, and all that and still couldn't. I, I timed out to a Rhino once. Ugh, man. These champs kind of suck. You don't would have you, the good ones. Well, except Warlock. Would, would you give you Warlock a generic awakening? From no. This? Put him on the list of champs to pull from the crystals. <laughs> yeah. What if I had a tech awakening gem? Would you awaken Warlock with a tech gem? Yes. Yeah, I'd awaken Warlock. I'd awaken any of the good ones. So tech's pretty easy. You already have rank three Warlock. There would only be two characters that I would consider as six stars worthy of a rank three. That would be Ghost and Guillotine 2099. Ghost, I would give the awakening gem to. Guillotine, I would take up on awaken. It's simple as that. Would you at all consider feeding the generic into Warlock, or would you just save that for the no. future? Barely noticeable signature ability, unless you have it at high sig. It's it's a nice little tick of damage, but you're going to be doing ticks of damage with his bleed and with his uh, power burn from the special three. So I see it as extremely unnecessary. Nice to have, but nowhere, not even worth a tech gem. This is a loaded class, right? You've got Hulkbuster and Sentinel, but both, I would say, would need to be awakened. Let's move on to the last class here. All right. Mystic. Okay, yeah, so like Sorcerer Supreme is, is going to be pretty high on my list for you. So if you were to like miss Doom, if you were to have Sorcerer Supreme and Claire, that would be a pretty tough decision. Yeah. Well, who would you, who do you think that you would choose there? Because Awakening Sorcerer Supreme, I think would be a pretty cool thing. But also like, would you go for Claire since she's a beast and she's a new champ and doesn't need her, her sig ability really? It's tough. I You know, I do use Claire in... Alliance war and and questing yeah. and all over the place really with suicides without suicides, so uh, I don't know I it, it, I would probably want to take Claire but I might end up taking Sorcerer Supreme because um, I don't know she is yeah. decent prestige wise and I I love the champion I think she's super fun yeah she's know. really good Claire you already have her at rank five if you had Sorcerer and Claire and no Doom in the Abyss Nexus which one would you pull? Which one would you pull? <laughs> um, I, I think I'd go Sorcerer to Duper. Yeah, I, I'm not, I honestly don't know what I would do if there was no Doom and it was both of them in there. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I'm probably leaning a little bit more towards Sorcerer at the moment, but okay, it's tough. Yeah, I just hope you get Doom, and then it's just a no-brainer. Same, yeah. Mystic, obviously, you, you're going for that Doom, you're going for the Prestige, or 
Uh, Let, let's assume you know, I also... don't get Doom. Let's uh, let's say maybe Claire shows up instead, and I have I have all these champs plus Claire. Oh, I would pick Dragon Man over Claire if both of them show up for sure. That's not that's not even a close contender there. If I had Dragon uh, Man, would that be the the rank three you'd go with? Yeah, yeah, he's just super viable in war now. Uh, if Alliance War is a concentration, and he doesn't really need his sick, he doesn't need the awakened ability, so you don't need to, you know, spend the gem on him or you know, sick stones on him. So, you know, uh, I think that'd be a good option. I feel like Dragon Man would be a cool rank up, but I don't think he'll be in the basic pool. This is a kind of a, a weird question. I'm, I'm pretty sure I know the answer, but do you think that there's any chance that you would consider saving the like picking Mystic and saving the Nexus until? the basic pool updates with Dragon Man? Is that not how the Nexus works? I'm not uh, actually sure. No, it does work that way. Is is Dragon Man, is he in the, is he in the feature right He's now? He's in the current feature, yeah. Okay. There's, hmm, interesting. Okay. There's still you, quite you, a bit of time on it, though, right? You play with um, Suicides, right? Not anymore. Actually, I'm, oh, I'm really? mostly playing without Suicides because I, okay. I use Torch all the time. Oh, true, right. So it, Yeah, okay. Then I feel like, honestly, Sorcerer could be, like, super, super good for you. Like, she's such an animal in war, dude. Like, oh man, she's so good. If I was gonna miss out on uh, Dr. Doom, you're leaning more towards Sorcerer Supreme, or if I waited Dragon Man. That's, that's kind of what you're thinking? <sighs> oh man, that's so hard, dude. I think if, if you were to get uh, Claire and or Sorcerer, they would trump Dragon Man. Okay. But I think if you were to get both Claire and Sorcerer and no Doom, like that would be an insane decision. I, I don't yeah. know if I could make that decision <laughs> right yeah. now. Like, All right, fair enough. That would be crazy. Fair enough. But I mean, Sorcerer, like if you if you had planned to invest resources into her, and especially with not using suicides much in war, I feel like she's probably the best option overall. Like she's so versatile. You think she's going to be good in like the the next phase of Alliance War with the <laughs> change of uh tactics i do yeah i haven't done the math but i'm pretty sure she wouldn't trigger protect unless you were throwing an sp2 or the sp3 might trigger a one protection but she's also so good in her block phase you can kind of get a little bit risky with her and, and go for intercepts I, I do think that she's going to be pretty good for protect she's almost she feels like a champ that's almost kind of proofed against any kind of global like she's just she doesn't do like insane damage so she's gonna she's gonna get around like the damage cap globals she can control power a little bit and i don't know man I, she's she's just really versatile sorcerer supreme is a great champion doesn't need to be awakened however in the exercise that we're doing personally i would not uh rank up sorcerer supreme uh she's not my champion i run suicides all the time i don't enjoy her play style much can you scroll down so i can see sure. the other champs in the pool yeah. So I have my eye on Dragon Man, but he won't be in that Nexus. Tiger is fantastic. However, I don't know if I would pick her out of the Nexus, whereas you you have Sorcerer Supreme. So if Doom doesn't pop up, that could be a good uh, rank up for you, you know, account wise and prestige wise. Sorcerer Supreme, really solid pull. But I don't think Sorcerer would be necessarily at the top of my rank three list, but she is definitely a contender floating around, let's say the top five, top six area. If Doom wasn't in there, I mean, I lived this experience. I chose Claire at the time. She was the second best choice in that pool, and I don't regret it. I mean, I'm sad I never pulled Doom, but Claire, can't deny her power. Very, very useful champion. Even not running suicides, just... Lots of utility, triple cycling immunity is but if I was opening my Nexus now, I would have a very difficult decision to make if I saw Claire as well as Tigra. Neither of them need to be awakened. Both of them have different uses in terms of like endgame content. As long as I've had Tigra, I've used her pretty much every single time for thing bosses and she gets the job done so quickly so efficiently it's silly how efficient tiger is at taking down thing as long as you know what you're doing and it takes a while to learn tiger because you have to remember champion animations uh different types of spacing for different matchups when you're in like labyrinth or you're in act seven because every character for the most part is different when it comes to the reach of their specials the reach of their mediums can you increase your natural spacing with one light attack or do you have to do two it's just a, a lot of different factors come into playing tigra properly i would 
definitely consider Claire as the overall best option if Doom wasn't in there. Now, this is taking into consideration Dragon Man not being in the feature, in the basic as well. I think I would select Dragon Man over Sorcerer, but not over Claire. I, he would kind of land in the middle for me. I'm not saying Tigra just because the time it would take to learn her, you would really need to devote a lot of time and put in a lot of effort. And if you're willing to do that, then of course choose Tiger. Doesn't need to be awake in Fantastic Rank Three. She's really good, but you gotta. She's tough to play. Actually, I don't know, man. Tiger is tempting. Tiger is tempting. I might. I'm. Uh, Tiger might be uh, taking the lead right now, man. She is an insane champion. I know that you have the skills to play her. I mean, not currently. You'd have to learn, but you'd be able to learn. <laughs> is what I mean. Yeah, I mean, if I put the time <laughs> in. Yeah. She's actually, in my opinion, I feel like Tiger is actually better without suicides. Um, mm. So that would be another plus for her. I feel like Tigra might be out of your wheelhouse kind of thing, right? I feel like you like the more defensive characters a lot of the time. And I think you would really like Dragon Man. I know Cam loves Dragon Man a lot. Dragon Man, if you don't pull Doom, okay. uh, that's going to be a big, that's going to be a big win. He's great for AW and AQ. He gets power really quickly. He can deal with opponents that have buffs really well. And he's just so safe to play. He's a robot. He's the only robot that's not a tech. And his special three unstoppable just... You could pretty much auto fight through your lane in AW, which is just absolutely insane. He would be a really interesting one. I don't think he's necessarily the best mystic in the game, but I think he is really good and has a lot of really unique utility. The way he affects buffs is different than anybody else. And he's a robot that's not a tech. Sasquatch is pretty good. Mojo's pretty good. Longshot's pretty good. I, like Mojo would be a close second for me. I think he's really fun to play. Again, he's got a very unique way he deals with buffs. Uh, he's got some nice healing. He's got some nice damage. Uh, his utility is pretty great. But I think he just, he like, Dragon Man just ekes him out a little bit for me. Especially since Mojo's not so, as much of a crazy defender. I think Dragon Man's actually a better defender at this point. You want to use him for that. We definitely saw where Flow Wars took a step back to Stubborn Wars. And Mojo's win rate plummeted. I think he's, like, out of the top 10 now. Tiger and Sasquatch, both really cool. Both mainly defenders, same thing with man thing. Uh, and then you know how the state of war is, man. They're not getting kills. And now that they've removed like one of the only things that kind of made them tough, which was stubborn, uh, I feel like like this season is going to be super tight. Yeah. And honestly, Torch, he rolls over so many of the mystics, oh, you know? Any mystic, dude. Any yeah. mystic. Like, I've taken him against uh, man thing, like rank three man things on uh, certain nodes. And with Flame on, uh, it just doesn't even matter if he's going to poison me because he's dead so fast. The game has progressed so much, man. Like, some of these champs, you know, even six months ago, you pulled them and you'd be like, yeah, sweet. Now it's like, eh. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, as, I'm not as excited. Like, dude, when I pulled Sim and I duped him, I was over the moon, you know? But. Now it's like, well, I'd rather have Sorcerer Supreme or I'd rather have even Morningstar. It's become much tougher and tougher. Sorcerer Supreme is really cool. I know she doesn't really necessarily need to be awakened, but she's like 13. Hang on, I can tell you right now I have her loaded up. It is 13672. So it's it's actually pretty good. I think it's Dreamin's top champ. But then again, man, with with Mystic, you gotta wait for Doom. That's just all there is to it. You don't you don't really have a choice. Alright, so let's say I crack that Abyss Nexus. And uh, Doom is just nowhere to be found. Who would you say is like a like a second choice? So a secondary go-to, Black Widow. Would you it's take Black Widow over a, a dupe of Sorcerer Supreme, or would you rather yeah. go with Sorcerer Supreme? I'd take it over a dupe just because you have the gem, right? Yeah. And, of course, Black Widow doesn't necessarily need to be awakened. So if you wanted the prestige, you know, you could always feed six stones into sorcerer or, or hold out or whatever if you don't get doom i would rank sorcerer and go all in for her her prestige is good and she's i think really good if doom's not in the nexus and sorcerer is you'd pick sorcerer over anyone else or yeah i would pick her over anyone else okay keeping in mind i do have a mystic awakening gem does that sway your decision or still sorcerer Still sorcerer because of the six stones. You're not gonna be able to sig anyone up. The 26 for you is like pretty substantial. It's yeah, quite a bit. But you really need to try to pull doom. <laughs> like it's not. Me. I'm gonna be trying optimal. with everything I got, man. You have to pull doom. Yeah. But because because if you pull doom, right, and he was like sig 40, and you could take gambit to like maybe sig 50 or something, you could get to like 12. Four, maybe something like that well so i do 12, have generics 12, too 12. 
It's just that I figured the generics would be saved for for someone like Doom, right? Or or Surfer or something. You like have that. to, yeah. You need to get one of the ideally big two, but yeah, I need both Surfer of the big two to be honest. Okay, so going back, looking at like all the class types again, what are you thinking? If I had to pick one, I think I'd go with a mutant, especially because you got that mutant awakening gem. Mm -hmm. And it would be between Gambit, Magneto, and Colossus. It, whoa, whoa, it whoa, really. Whoa. The Colossus just entered the mix because before it was just Gambit and Magneto. <laughs> yeah, but there's people are gonna. There's always those people that say he's the best champion in the game, or I mean, best mutant champion in the game. I mean, forget those people. This is dude, we got <laughs> just free reign here. One champ goes up. Like, what's? Well, it. I was in that position and I chose. I chose Magneto. I, I gave him the gem and took him up over okay. Colossus, over Havoc, over Gambit. But for you again prestige is a bit of a, a pain point and the game has got that prestige i think i think yeah if it's me you're asking for me i'd, I'd go magneto magneto I just, okay i think he's that good yeah okay all right locking it in yep you got the mutant awakening gym i don't think i'd give him a generic but you got the mutant one i'd absolutely give him a mutant one I mean, dude, honestly, like, I think it's going to be Sorcerer Supreme. Like, hopefully you get Doom, man. Like, we're all hoping you get Doom. And if that's the case, then you're going to have three, three rank, three mystics. But Sorcerer doesn't really need to be awakened. Yeah, she really doesn't, man. It's just Blessings Potency and then Ability Accuracy, which is nice for matchups against, like, Domino and stuff. But right. super versatile, really low maintenance. I don't know. She's just, she feels like one of the most well-rounded champs in the game. How does Sorcerer look? Uh, power ratings wise. Yeah, so I, I do want to do a, an episode on her pretty soon, but she's she's tier seven and she's like kind of high tier seven. Claire is low tier eight, but that's kind of just because she checks all the boxes. Plus she has a little bit more damage initially than Sorcerer Supreme and damage is kind of weighted the most heavily in that, in that system. Like especially not running suicides and stuff. I just feel like Sorcerer Supreme, she would be my pick. I'm, I'm certain like there's, it's not really even close. So what, what's like the, the final answer then? Obviously Dragon Man was like your number one if he's in the Abyss yeah. Selector, if Doom is not. Because if Doom's in there, I'm taking Doom. I need like a, a hard answer here, man. This is uh... Oh, this is a hard question too, though. <laughs> it's a very hard question. Yeah, yeah, that's the idea. It's a very hard question. Uh, what would you lock in? You got again? one move. Can I see your mutants again? Sure. <laughs> Why is this so hard? <laughs> um... <laughs> Do you think do you think it's harder than making a decision on your own account? Yeah, because this is faster. I have to <laughs> I have to make the decision on the spot. On my account, I can I can just sit on it and think about it for seven weeks or something, and then one level up event comes around, and I'm like, oh, I guess I'm gonna be ranking Rhino. Uh, defense also obviously depends on your battle group's characters and like who they need, who they have ranked already. Mm -hmm. For, at this point, I'd like to mention for the viewers that we're in the same battle group. Uh, I already got dibs on Rhino, by the way, so you can't be ranking Rhino. Oh darn! I I was uh, I was really looking forward to to ranking Rhino, but okay, I'll let you have him. Uh, you got Abomination. He'd be a he'd be a defender, right? Ah, you have a Guardian, right? Red Guardian. R Red Guardian. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, A bomb. Rank A bomb. He'd be fun, and he'd be on defense. There you go. That's my actual vote. That's your actual vote, he defense, he's a, Yeah, he's a protect defender. He'd be really fun with Red Guardian. You have the, the synergy going on, you know, with poisons on every hit. And uh, dude hits like a, like an absolute beast. Uh, he's very immortal, but, you know. You're, he'd be like Dollar Store, Dollar, dollar Store Immortal Abomination. You know. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Locked that sounds in. good, right? Yep. <laughs> Locked in. Abomination. <laughs> We're doing good, boys. <laughs> Could I see the first two classes one more time? Sure, yeah. Abomination with Red Guardian might be one of the most underrated champions in the entire game. He's good with or without suicides. You hit into the opponent, and as long as they aren't poison immune, which not too many champions are, they melt, man. They melt pretty fast. Magneto might be the smartest option. Huh. <sighs> I'm going back and forth right now between Abom, Magneto, and Tiger. You want to see any of the other class types, or are you pretty much set on one of those three? Let me see. Um, nothing in cosmic. Nothing in tech. 
I don't think I'm gonna go with Korg. Avom, Mags, or Tigra. I feel like Magneto is good enough at rank two. I feel like Abomination is going to be very fun at rank two. However, are you going to be using Abomination for all these things? I don't know. I could. I mean, if if you think he's you could. Yeah, no, he's he's really really good. You you definitely could. However, man, Tigra is one of those champions where if you take the time to master her, she is Ghost Quake level fantastic. So I think I'm going to be locking in the answer of Tigra, dude. Okay, so locking in with Tigra. Now, like I said, I, I have a Mystic Awakening gem. Would you awaken her or would you save that Mystic for, for another situation? That's an interesting question, man, because here's the thing. Her prestige is really, really good. She has the second highest Mystic prestige. And her awakening ability is fantastic when you're at a decent SIG. My personal Tiger is SIG 40, and it's still not the most useful. Once she gets to about SIG 100, that's when the length of her senses at the beginning of the fight reach that certain amount of time where you can get through the fight, you know, without having to refresh with the special one or the special three. She would be the highest prestige champion that you have. So in the world where you don't pull Doom, that would be a good champion to put generic stones into for prestige. So in that scenario, I think I would awaken tiger and okay. you lay all of that out i could potentially dump uh generics and i would i would be able to get her above 100. at sig 100 she starts the fight with her sense i'm looking at aunt may right now she starts um with her senses at about uh six seconds out of 12 seconds at sig 200. so that's okay. not too bad okay so is that your final answer then uh tiger goes to rank three uh this is this is if i don't pull doom out of the nexus tiger would be your pick <laughs> And awake yeah. her, sig her up, final answer? I think I'm going to go final answer, Tiger, man, yeah. And okay. if you were to pull Doom, I think I would go with Abomination. You get one here, right? You get one, yeah. Oh, man. Do you want me to flip through the class types again real quick? Or? No, no, I wrote down my tops. Um, okay. I'm, I'm just going to I'm gonna go with it, man. Uh, Red Magneto, don't even have to awaken him. Okay, so you would go Red Magneto and, and hold the gem? And just hold the gem. Okay. Uh, show me the mutant class again, if you don't mind. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm, I'm just curious, like, who we can use that gem on eventually. Are there any champs you don't have that? Uh, oh yeah, that would be more worth it. Archangel, dude. Sunspot. If you really, you know, if you really got wanted after that prestige, man. If you pulled him somehow out of a basic, like, I would probably give him a, a mutant gem, no doubt. I have heard that Sunspot falls out of uh, the top two or three or whatever after rank four but that's gonna be a bit um it's gonna be namor. a bit for me to get those six stones <laughs> <laughs> namor is really cool so yeah dude you definitely save it because you like i said you got archangel in there you've got uh uh the other uh, namor i mean there's a few good champs that are totally worth uh the awakening gym whereas magneto is just a absolute monster he's suicides friendly i know you don't run him much anymore is that just a unit savings thing no, it's it's just because I'm playing torch so much. Ah, uh, yeah, I I just so. pull him off whenever I have to do my war fights, basically, or or if I'm using him for that war, I'll just leave him off until uh, next placement. But yeah, Magneto, hands down. Uh, like I said, save your gem, use your T5C. He just is to me is your best overall champ for immediate use and uh, utility, right? I know he's not going to give the prestige, but. You, Let's be honest, right? Like, you're so far away that, like, <laughs> five champs at rank five, uh, even if they're the top prestige options, aren't going to get you above 1230, right? Because they won't have the SIG level. It's totally cool, too. I mean, I'm not, like, you know, dogging you for it or anything. Um, <laughs> but Red Mags get, get you everything you need. Uh, and then you've got some options on the, on the come up. Like, I really liked uh, the idea of possibly Red Hulk in your bg if you didn't already have one kingpin i haven't really seen his buff very much so i don't know about his practicality or uh utility offensively but i imagine with protect being the global go-to he's just gonna get plopped on defense right and uh can he still be quaked uh, they... honestly i don't know okay well if he can't be quaked he can be ghosted uh the I don't know. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> probably a champ that, you know, doesn't do a whole lot for anybody. Uh, Aegon, that's, I love how you got him. I loved how you duped him at that whole, it's like a story, man. MCOC story, you know, <laughs> it's, it's a 30 for 30, dude, is what it is. <laughs> um, 
with Brian Grant and Aegon. You know, honestly, I'm I'm just hoping that uh, you pull Doom, and everything is right in the world. <laughs> Same, dude. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really hoping for it, man. Let me uh, consult uh, this handy website I found called Ant May. Honestly, so over all the classes, if you like Captain Marvel and you think it's worth using her, I would use her. There's a lot of bias on that for me. I really like her. I use her everywhere I possibly can. Uh, I probably take content I shouldn't with her, but I do anyways. If you're yeah. not super into Captain Marvel, then I would definitely go Thing. I think Thing is the best all around. He's got good prestige. He's great on defense. He's great on offense. He's got great synergies, especially with Torch. Torch is his best synergy. Got really good utility too. If, um, if you're not using Red Guardian, he's one of the best characters to deal with anything that tries to nullify you. I think overall, he is the best pick for me. He's just such an all around good character. Okay, so Thing plus uh, the generic... Does this change your mind at all? I, I, I will only be able to take him to about uh, Sig 45-ish. It doesn't really matter too much to me, especially if you're not running suicides, because that's really the big thing, is he can ignore recoil. Even if you don't have his Sig super high, though, he's still got free damage resist, uh, and he's still like an all-around really strong character. So mm -hmm. I think... And he's definitely a character that you'll pump six stones into later on, because he's his Sig makes him both a better attacker and defender, and his prestige is pretty good. So yeah. I think... The, in the short term, it, it kind of sucks, but overall, in the in the long run, it's pretty worth it. All right, so locking in final answer with Thing, uh, and using the generic awakening gem, right? Yep. Okay. Mordo is also a really high sig, low, low, yes. really uh, high prestige, low sig champ. But you don't have him. There's a few that would be good for me to pull. So if I can naturally awaken uh, Cap, Cap Beardo, or, yeah, it's really solid. And I, I mean, I haven't pulled Daredevil once but if i can pull him twice that would be nice he also kind of sucks right uh honestly i have no idea and i don't care his prestige is so big that pff, it is that's true wouldn't even matter to me yeah but gambit's number one at sig 40 he's number one at 660 he's number one at sig 80 he's number one at sig 100 mm. wow he's number one at sig 120 so it's not until sig 140 that he drops the third crazy so i'd go with him I would use the gem and rank him. Okay, assuming so you... Is this assuming you miss Doom or, or you don't miss Doom? Does that change your answer if whether or not I get Doom? No, actually, it really doesn't. Because this way you'd put Mystics into Doom, Mutant into Gambit. Do you like Gambit? No. Do you like Doom? Yeah, I mean, Doom is insane, of course. Do you like Surfer? I mean, Surfer's like Gambit. He sucks. Um, I like Surfer more than I like Gambit. Do you think you could use him? Probably not, but I still like him more. Like the thing about Gambit is, uh, I I just really don't find his playstyle to be fun at all. Like, do you like really? Gambit? He's okay. Mine's not awakened. Oh, um, just the the way you you charge him up is not that interesting. It's quick now though. He's one of the few Marvel characters I knew before playing this game, and I always thought he was yeah. cool. But his playstyle is, I just don't enjoy it. He's good as a horseman. His prestige is just so crazy. Yeah. Because you're not going to be able to max out like a bunch of champs. You're not trying to get to like 13 7 prestige. You just I need mean, to get to not being like a laughing stock. Long term, I'd, I'd like to get all the top prestige guys, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How many years out are you thinking? Uh, I don't know, dude. I mean, I don't have one right now, so. Well, you're going to get Doom. Let's hope, man. It's Dude, how it's, many mystics it's are less there than now? 50 chance you're, yeah there's 24. yeah you just have to get doom like your war attack is fine right it's fine mostly yeah i could just use torch and torch warlock, warlock for basically everything is that your choice then though uh gambit or is that where you're gonna yeah i would go with gambit him? just okay. his prestige is something you're not gonna be able to attain in any other way to have like a low sig champ that actually gets you prestige because it's just gonna take you so i mean unless you're willing to wait like two three years to get to like what is like now 20th in the alliance you now. have to get the champs like him and daredevil hell's kitchen cap infinity so cap would be really great you could go for science try to get cap from your abyss crystal because you have some other options, too. Even if you miss him, you could get, like, dupe thing. You think that's better than going for Doom? And then you could use the gem on Sorcerer. Kind of gives you two. But Cap at Sig 200 really sucks. But he's at 60, he's third overall. 
At 80, he's third. Yeah, so up to SIG 120, he's like way up there. I'd consider that. Does that sway your answer? Because remember, you only get you only get one today. Well, is there anyone you could you would regret using the Awakening Gem if you used it on Gambit? <laughs> I mean, the mutant class is kind of stacked. So Namor, his he needs to be high SIG to be usable, so he would be. I would think he would be way worse than Gambit for you. I don't know if he absolutely needs to be high SIG. Um, but he, he's also not going to pass Gambit until he's sig literally 180. Like if I had your account, I would rank Gambit before Namor. You think there's you, anything to saying like give it to Archangel and then use Archangel for Legends runs or anything like that? Do you have Archangel? <laughs> no, no, no. But I'm saying, you know, if I got him, would that be worth saving it for to get the, you know, be able to get more sig stones through Legends runs? I don't think it's ever worth saving uh, for one specific champ that there's no way to acquire. The odds are so low that it's not worth it. Yeah, I'll go. I'd go with Gambit. The way his prestige scales, I think, would help your account. Fair enough. Locking in uh, Awakening and rank three in Gambit. God, that sounds silly. One last question then: Would would you feed the generics to Gambit too, or just the mutants? I'd, I'd give Doom the generics. What if I don't get Doom? That's not an option. Remember, we agreed. <laughs> We're not going to need to go back to Mystic, Tech, or Cosmic. So it's going to be between Mutant, Science, and Skill. So if you go back to Science really quick. I think Science, I'm probably going to have to cut. Like I said at the beginning, Captain America needs Max Sig. Thing needs High Sig, essentially Max Sig. Spider One's great and all, but not the most worthy 6-star Science Champion to bring to Rank 3. So I'd probably cut Science out. So it's really down to Skill and Mutant at this point. Probably going to cut out Skill as well, so it's going down to Mutant here. Lots of great characters in the Mutant class. Even some that I didn't mention, like uh, Gambit, Havoc, Storm. You do have a 565 Magneto, and that's great. But having Magneto at that higher power level for content that has newer metal champions, I think it's going to be really valuable because he's not just good against metal champions. He is a decent character against a lot of other champions in the game. Now, he only really struggles against non-metal bleed immune champions, but even then he's still okay. Not the not the, the front option, but you know, definitely not at the bottom. Mm -hmm. But I think the the value Magneto brings to Alliance War to 7.1 and, and future Act 7 content to just even, you know, small nuances in like uh, an incursion run, like Buff Cornucopia, you know, some situations like that. Yeah. I think he is probably the best rank 3 champion that you could have on your account as of right now with all the champions standing. You're going with Magneto, but hold the gem, even considering I have a, a Mutant Awakening gem as well. You're saying hold that yeah. for potential Archangel or or someone else yeah. and just take Magneto rank 3 Unawakened? Is that locked in final answer? Yeah, 100%. I don't think he needs the Mutant Gem. It's nice, but there are better characters. There are characters that benefit from a Mutant Gem and a Generic Gem more so than Magneto. So, yeah, locking in, I don't know, like sound effect, you know, what do they do on the on the, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm locking in rank three on Awakened Magneto. Wow, I can't believe we had so many different answers. Eight participants, six different champions, but technically seven different answers because Legacy went with Awakening Magneto, whereas B Manny and MSD said, no, 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 just leave him unawakened. So seven different answers. It probably would have been so much different if everyone was able to communicate with one another, and I bet you it would come down to maybe only a couple of champions instead of essentially seven different options here. So, wild stuff, man. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys agreed with these answers, if you came up with an answer all on your own that's different from one of these, and just if you were surprised at the variation, as, as surprised as I was. Um, massive shout out to all these participants, by the way. This is quite possibly the largest collaboration i'm not sure if it is but it might be the largest collaboration ever for an mcoc video i can tell you this much this was the second most amount of time i've sunk into editing a video this was 50 hours of editing so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did show it hit that thumbs up so that youtube will recommend it to other people and thank you all very much for watching be sure to uh, check out all these other guys channels and links that i have in the uh, description and pinned to the top of the comments as well and I will see you guys in the next video.
Take care.